Welcome to ASVAB Test Prep online lesson series. In this lesson, we'll go over mathematical knowledge. You know, mathematical knowledge you need for your PyCat, full ASVAB, CAT IV, ASVAB GT, or if you want to take Air Force Officer Qualifying Test, AFOQT, you also need this mathematical knowledge. That is very, very basic algebra. Before you start, make sure that you have a notebook and a pen so you could write all this uh, important information from the video and practice. As always, pause the video first and try to um, do the problem by yourself and then pause the video and then keep continue. After you uh, watch the video a few times and then download this application called ASVAB Prep 2023, it has plenty of practice courses that will help you to prepare for your ASVAB test. It has also the AF uh, QT prediction test and full ASVAB prediction test that kind of determine if you are ready to take the actual test or not. Um, so let's get started. In this video, we'll go over 15 mathematical knowledge questions. So you might not see like exactly same problem in your test because there are 15, 16 different versions. But if you learn this concept, you could um, answer any kind of mathematical uh, knowledge related question in the actual ASVAB test. The first question is, what is the area of a parallelogram if its length is x plus 3 and its height is x minus 5? You know the area of a rectangle or parallelogram is length time width, right? So if you see any time any kind of geometrical shape. So, so try to uh, draw it. So let's draw. So if you draw, this is a rectangular parallelogram and this is um, length is that and then width is that. So you know how to find the area of a rectangle, length time, width. So what do you have to do here? You have to multiply. So let's do that. So you have x plus three times x minus five. So you need to use a FOIL method. You remember that before um, how to do it. So you have to do like this way. X multiply with both of them and then three multiply with both of them as well. So that gives you X is square um, minus five X, three times X plus three X, three times minus minus 15. And if you simplify that, so that gives you x square minus 2x minus 15. So the correct answer is option A. Let's go to the next problem. If 2 to the power x equal to 32, and then what is x equal? So you know, this is like an exponent type of from the problem to solve, right? So the formula is if a to the power x equal to a to the power n then you could write x equal n so where a is the base and this x is called exponent right so let's learn 32 in terms of 2 so that gives you 2 to the power x equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 so that is um 2 to the power fifth power. So now you could write 2 to the power x equal to 2 to the power fifth power and then x equal to 5. So that is the correct answer. So the answer option B is the correct one, right? So let's go to the next problem. Simplify 3 over 5 x plus x. So I could write this into a, a simpler form, right? So let's rewrite it. So you could write that is in terms of um, 3x over 5 plus x, right? So you know any kind of uh, fraction if you want to add, you have to find the common denominator. So in that case, the common denominator is 5. So let's do right here. So the common denominator 5 here, 5 there, right? So what do you have to do? Uh, 5 divided by 5 is 1, so that gives you 3x in here. And if you put 1 here, 5 divided by 1 is 5. 5 times x is 5x. 
So if you add them up, you need to add only the top numbers. So that gives you 8x over 5. So the correct answer is option B. Next question. What is the factor of x square plus 4x plus 3, right? So you need to factorize. So you, what you have to do, you have to do the medial factor. So what you need to do, you have to multiply the first coefficient with last number. So that gives you 3 times 1 is 3. And then you have to split in the middle term. So let's do that. So that gives you x square plus x plus 3x plus 3. Now take the common here. So that gives you, if you take x common, that gives you x plus 1. If you take 3 common, that gives you x plus 1. And then if you simplify, that gives you x plus 1 times x plus 3. So that is the correct answer, answer option letter B. So let's do uh, next problem, the factor of 2x square plus xy minus 3y square r. Follow the exactly the same way. Multiply 3 times 2 is 6. So you have to split in the middle term in terms of uh, 6 when you uh, multiply give you 6 and if you add or subtract give you 1. So you have to do that way. So you could write 2x square 3 times 2 is 6. So you could write plus 3xy minus 2xy minus 3y squared, right? Now take the common here. If you take um, x common, so that gives you 2x plus 3y. And if you take here is y common, so that gives you 2x plus 3y. And if you simplify, that gives you um, x minus y times 2x plus 3y. So the correct answer is option C. Let's do next problem. What is the length of the uh, diagonal of a rectangle with base 4 and uh, altitude is 3? So let's draw that draw a rectangle says so what is the length of the diagonal so this is the length of the diagonal if um, 4 and 3 right so you could write any of those the altitude is 3 this one is 4 so that means this is a Pythagorean theorem so you know that a square plus b square equal to c square plug the value so that gives you c square equal to 3 square plus 4 square and if you simplify c square equal to 25 and then c equal to 5 so the correct answer is letter c let's do next problem so what is um, 5x times 3x square minus 5 so what do you have to do you have to multiply that and if you have to multiply let's do that so 5x times 3 x square minus 5. So you have to distribute that. So that means you have to multiply this, multiply whole with that. Okay. So watch the video multiple times. Okay. The more you watch, the better for you to understand. So that gives you 3 times 5 is 15. x square times x gives you x to the power third power minus 5 times 5 is 25 x so what is the correct answer in here answer option letter d let's do another problem in here so he said what is the sum of that right so this is three terms so what do you have to do now so if you want to um combine the like terms right so you have to identify those so let's do that so you have x cube here and there right so let's let's combine the x cube first so 3x cube plus 1x cube, that gives you 4x cube, right? So let's write that down, 4x cube. And then you have to do x square. So you have x square here, x square there, right? So that gives you plus 4x square, right? And then you have to do x, 5x here, 2x here, 3x here. So you know the same sign, add, different sign, subtract. So 
3x plus 2x is 5x and then with um, minus 5x plus 5x that gives you 0 so these are cancelled out so now you have what you have 8 and 3 so 8 minus 3 is plus 5 so that is the correct answer so the answer option letter a so this is the problem next is if x equal to 4 which of the following expression does not equal 9 so what do you have to do you have to plug this value in each of this um, number so you could see here if you put uh, 4 in here so 3 times 4 is 12 12 minus 3 is 9 so that is correct if you do b 5 plus 4 is 9 do number uh, letter c 4 minus 4 minus 13 that gives you negative 9 right so that is the correct answer next question if x plus 3y equal to 7 and y equal to 2 then what is x equal so what do you have to do you have to plug the value y equal to 2 in here right so let's do that so x plus 3 times 2 equal to 7 that gives you x plus 6 equal to 7 subtract both side by 6 that gives you x equal to 1 the correct answer is option a let's go to the next question the reciprocal of 3 and 1 fifth is you know the reciprocal is reciprocal means the opposite right you have to flip the number so what do you have to do for it you have to make this mixed number into improper fraction and then flip it so 3 times 5 is 15 plus 1 is 16 over 5 and if you flip it so that gives you 5 over 16 so the correct answer is letter c next question what is the area of a triangle with a base 8 and height is 4 so let's do that so say like this is a triangle with um 8 and 4 so the area of a triangle equal to base time height divided by 2 so that is 4 times 8 is 32 divided by 2 that gives you 16 so the correct answer is letter c next question graph of the following equation are straight line except so let me just give you a clue here just remember that anytime if you see x exponent is more than one or less than one that is not an equation of a straight line okay so if which one has x exponent more than one so that is actually option b so that is the correct answer next question if a equal to six b equal to 5 what is the value of a square minus b squared and then parenthesis whole squared right so let's do that so um a is what a is 6 so 6 is squared minus 5 is squared and then whole squared so 36 minus 25 equal Eleven is squared. So if you simplify that, eleven times eleven is one hundred twenty-one. So that is the correct answer. Next question: If four over three times three over five equal to five k, what is k? So let's do in here. So you could cancel those out. This cancel those out. So then you have five k equal to one, and then divide both sides by five that gives you k equal to one fifth the correct answer is option a next question minus 2x plus 8 is less than 30 what is the value of x so let's do the regular way so negative 2x plus 8 less than 30 what do you have to do first so you have to subtract both sides by 8 right so that gives you negative 2x less than 22 
divide both sides by negative 2. So that gives you negative 2, negative 2 cancel out gives you x is greater than negative 11. So anytime you divide it by negative number, the sign will change for the inequality. So that is the correct answer. So the answer option will be letter C. Watch the video a few times. Make sure that you practice by yourself and then download this application from App Store or Google Play called Asba Prep 2023. It has a lot of practice courses and all different versions of course and it will cover in this in this app. So um, download this app and practice and it will really really helpful for you. Okay. Thank you.